Congratulations on your test. My mentor says I have great potential. I'm terrible at spells. You're lucky you're so talented. someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid? That's a death sentence. Because blood magic is powerful? You can bend others to your will and, and force demons into your service. That's what I hear anyway. How does it feel to be done with the harrowing? Did you hear about the apprentice who disappeared last week? As you say. Control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But... but... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. You know, in my experience, flint and tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. Ah, oh, congratulations on your harrowing. I really should be concentrating on the flame. We're all really happy for you. Magic must serve man, and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Only boys can do magic. Hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to... to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. I like ponies. Being in the tower is much better than being on the farm. Have you ever seen an abom... Ab an abomid... A bomb be nation. I perfected my ice spells yesterday. Aren't the children just precious? I heard your harrowing went well. That's wonderful to hear. I heard your harrowing went well. That's wonderful to hear. All my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Should you face a demon with your will wavering so, it would consume you. Is that what you want? No. Then stand firm and know you can resist whatever I throw at you. Again. Hello. 
Hello there. How does it feel to be done with the harrowing? Congratulations on your test. Congratulations on your test. I heard Irving wants to see you. Did you hear the rumor about someone being a blood mage? Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? I voluntarily submitted to the Rite of Tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. Very well. Goodbye. Your mentors must be happy for you. You pass. Today I shall be making more potions to send to the mages at Ostagar. Good day to you. Owain is in charge of the stock room. Oh. Uh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the Circle? <laughs> I'm sorry. There are so many of you and I get confused. Not to mention these old eyes are starting to go. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. Anyway, uh, did you need something? I shall do it. It shall be done. I shall do it. Do you need something? If not, step back. You're in my light. Good day. Mm, that's not good. The Chantry would do something before it came to that. Will they? They haven't done anything, and I've heard that the Equitarians are starting to soften a little on the Libertarian position. Sympathy for the position isn't the same as support. Yet, as far as I know, most Equitarians prefer to remain allied with the Loyalists. You can see why, don't you? Just think of what the Chantry would do if suddenly the Circles were petitioning for more independence or even a split. Would be pretty. Ah, those short-sighted Libertarians. They'll get their way and take us all down with them. I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torren. It shall be done. A 
Hello. Were you looking for something? Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. They'll never learn that. They don't want to. I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? If you leave the circle, you become an apostate. And the punishment for leaving is death. Pretty grim, huh? I've heard of hedge witches who've managed to survive on their own, eluding the circle for a lifetime. But if the Templars discover them, well, you know what happens. And then there are stories about the Dalish elf clans having great magic. But who knows what's truth and what's fiction when it comes to the Dalish? I'm Njal, a mage just like you. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. All right, have a good day. Hello. Congratulations on your heroing last night. Good work. Ah, oh, the Fraternities of the Enchanters. You probably haven't heard of them. It's best not to get tangled up in circle politics. More trouble than it's worth, really. Mm. Uh, oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of Enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all majors should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the Loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make money, and the Isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then of course there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the Circle, more autonomy. Well, if I had to, I'd say I was an Equitarian, but I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulred's a Libertarian, and a loud one at that. Ah, uh, mages have enough opposition from the outside, without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? An idealist, I see. Well... If you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. Lots of world to cover. Excuse me, I didn't hear you come in. I'm sorry, I'm terribly busy right now. I have to prepare the room before the Grey Warden is done at his meeting with Irving. Yes, Duncan his name is. He must be here to talk to Irving about something important. You know, I almost became a Grey Warden once. Ah, yes, I am. I just get carried away sometimes. I apologize and wish you a good day. out of the apprentice's dormitory, and these are to be your new quarters. The Tranquil will move your belongings this afternoon. Go on, make yourself comfortable. I heard that you completed the harrowing in record time. I should have been sent to help the King's army. I dislike being stuck here while something big is happening.
Oh, um, uh, hello. I, uh, I'm glad to see your harrowing went smoothly. They picked me as the Templar to strike the killing blow if, if you became an abomination. It's nothing personal, I swear. I, uh, I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? I would have felt terrible about it, but, um, but I serve the Chantry and the Maker, and I will do as I am commanded. Uh, uh, yes. Maybe we can talk another time. You can uh, come and talk to me anytime you like. Very well. It shall be done. Great to see you. It's always sad when an apprentice fails the harrowing. I'd avoid Leora if I were you. She's been rather testy lately. Ah, this is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stockroom? Oh, excellent. He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Oh, I didn't see you there. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us, that maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. Magic? What else? Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. The Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something so terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. That doesn't take magic. If I could, I would dedicate my life to the Chantry. But they would never take me in. Perhaps this is just something I will have to suffer through. I should go. 
My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. It shall be done. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new sister in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then... Uh... Where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. The power you mages wield is an asset to any army. Your spells are very effective against large groups of mindless darkspawn. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry, the poor girl, with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the Circle of Magi. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the rite. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor.
Thank you for walking with me. I'm glad for the company. I'm sure Irving is very proud to have had you as a pupil. It is not my place to comment. Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. A horde has formed within the Korkari Wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an Archdemon is leading the Horde. Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but Archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A Horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. Yes, perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. They usually move around in small groups, but there are always more of them, lurking underground, biding their time. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. Avoiding a problem does not make it disappear. The Dark Spawn are a real threat we cannot ignore. But standing around talking solves nothing. Let us go. Thank you for escorting me. Thank you for escorting me. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Shh! I just want to make sure we're not overheard. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please.